check the description box below and don't forget to hit that like button. Hello guys and goddesses, Coco here with your Coco from the Dark podcast where we connect with the most high, our emotions, and the innermost parts of ourselves that tries to elude us at every turn. This is a space of not only connecting and healing, but also to give you the confirmations and the answers that you've been seeking. So thank you so much for being here with me and thank you for being willing to connect with you. Namaste. So as I was sitting here taking notes on the downloads that I was receiving from the Most High to give to you, I just felt prompted to just go on and record. I did write down a few, but there's this energy of like you being in a space of calmness, right? And the people around you are facing things that seem chaotic or that are chaotic. And there's this, it feels like you feel like you have to make yourself a part of their chaos in order to assist them or in order to help them. But then you also feel like that's, that's their, that's their life. That's what they're going through. Let them deal with it. So it's this energy of you needing to remember that everyone has their own journey. Everyone has to go through their own, you know, things in life that they have to deal with. You had to go through yours. So you have to allow others to go through theirs. Yes. You know, when you have a big heart, that's hard to just, you know, stay in your, in your space and allow them to be in their space, but you can be compassionate without placing yourself in someone else's situations that you're not meant to be in. There's this energy of like, you know, receiving someone else's karma because you just feel so pulled towards helping them. Like we are meant to help people most definitely, but we're not meant to take on their com karma and their drama. Like when it gets to a point where other people's lives start to directly affect us, that's what that's your cue to step back to take a step back and love them from a distance because you have not worked this hard on yourself on your journey to be pulled into someone else's mess like you you paid your karmic debt your 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 negative karmic debt so now you're working on building a positive karmic debt and yet when someone close to you is dealing with something when, when they're dealing with their own karma you want to step in and help them and, and that's a natural thing especially if you're a light worker it's a natural thing but it's something that you have to learn how to fight against because they have to go through it them, themselves they they you can't go through it for them you can't live someone else's life live someone someone else's karma for them i mean you can live their karma for them but you ain't gonna like it <laughs> and i guarantee you they're not gonna live your karma for you so it's like knowing when to hold and knowing when to fold like you just have to do a lot of introspection go go into prayer mode or meditation mode whatever it is that you need to connect with yourself and with the most high in order for you to be comfortable with allowing your loved ones or people close to you to go through their own karma without you wanting to step in like you can pray for them you can send them prayer you can uh, you know <sighs> you can be compassionate to them it's like observing and not absorbing like there's a middle ground between loving someone and then also taking on their karma because you are, you are in this space of moving out. You've moved out of your bad karma, your negative karma, whatever the things that you dealt with, you know, you've done in like maybe in a past life or in your past, you've dealt with all of the karma from that. And now you're in this space where you are planting seeds for positive karma. You're creating positive karma. So things may be quiet in your personal life, but those around you who are starting to reap the karma 
you know, you from the things that they've done, those around you may be going through chaos. So I feel like this message is to just be mindful of how much of someone's energy you take on. Um, the messages that I got are a year from now, um, precious cargo, take your time, be magnetic. And, and it would be magnetic. I was getting this energy of like, okay, so how, how should they be magnetic? And there's the, the message came through to work, continue working on yourself, continue being compassionate to others, but keeping those strict boundaries like don't let anyone cross your boundaries not even yourself okay okay so this is episode 36 of coco from the dark podcast oh i'm swinging too hard too fast um okay so we're gonna get we're gonna read some cards today um weeping willow weeping willows may be significant to someone so I'm first going to start with the question that arose, like when I was picking the decks that I wanted to bring with me, the, this, this deck called to me. And usually when I have this deck, it's, it's an, it always gives me this energy of like what's in store for the full moon or what don't, what the collective doesn't see coming. So this one feels like what you don't see coming. What, what don't you see coming towards you that you need to see what are you ignoring what is like oblivious to you but what don't you see coming forward so headaches may most definitely still be in the collective in this energy of october 4th i know by the time that you see this it'll be the fifth but there's this energy of like headaches. Maybe you may still be going through a, um, the energy of having headaches when you see this, but headaches, I'm hearing sinus issues and allergies again. It is that time of year, you know, when people start talking about flu shots and stuff. So, you know, get that vitamin C in your system. Drink your water. Connect with those emotions. Water is most definitely helpful. Oh. Okay. So, the first card coming out of what you don't see coming is a bigger picture. There is something that you're not seeing. Like, in what you don't see coming, you don't see this coming. <laughs> but there's this energy of the bigger picture that you don't see it's something that let's see you don't see something coming forward to you in a, a sense of from the aspect of your stability something that is going to make you stable make you feel stable make you feel secure in your life in your finances in your home but some sort of there's this energy of something coming in to make you feel stable or be stable um, what you, what else you don't see coming is someone is going to come in speaking some sort of truth for you to you or for you, or someone is going to come in with an untruth, but someone's going to come in speaking something to you. And I'm hearing that it's someone from your past and it's going, it's going to give you like some sort of closure or some sort of, I don't know, it feels like this energy of like endings or new beginnings. It's it's one or the other. It really depends on where you are in your journey. This could be someone coming in and it could be, I mean, it's going to be positive anyway because it's going to cause an ending that needs to be had or it's someone coming in and it's going to be good because it's going to be a new beginning in something. What you don't see coming is that you're good enough for there is some sort of love offer that's coming in for you. And it might be the energy that I'm picking up is that it's from someone you would not expect. It's someone who 
you would probably hold at a higher regard than you hold yourself, which says a lot, which says you still have some more work on yourself because you are just as valuable as the next person. It doesn't matter someone's culture. It doesn't matter how much money someone makes or where someone lives. You're just as valuable. So there is someone coming in for you. Okay, camera, who um, wants to offer you an, an offer of love and it's someone outside of your normal. And I'm hearing that they're better than people that you dated in your past. So maybe it's not you um, so much not valuing yourself, but you maybe didn't pick the best um suitors for yourself in your past and this person is gonna i'm hearing trump all um what else you don't see coming is something moving in quickly towards you like I i'm picking up that there is something um some sort of spiritual download some sort of information coming in from the most high from the spirit realm so something may be delivered to you in your dreams or in a daydream you may be receiving some sort of idea something about i'm hearing collaboration but something is it's going to come in it's, it's going to be like you're not expecting it so it's going to feel like it came in quickly what else you don't see coming there's going to be some sort of shift some it's going to be big some sort of big shift that's going to be happening for you and i'm hearing to be mindful that you are deserving of this B remember all of the work that you have done and i'm hearing again that message of when you are in a space of calmness but those around you are going through chaos don't let what someone else is going through y'all can't see my hand movements but you know I, you know i talk with my hands a lot but don't let someone else's chaos make you dim down your excitement or dim down whatever it is that's coming in for you because you don't want to affect them in a, in a more negative way. Because it's, it, you know how you could be going through something good and someone is someone close to you isn't. And you kind of you're kind of hesitant about sharing it with them because you don't want them to be like negative about it or make you feel negative about it. I don't know. It's just, there's just this energy of being mindful of maybe you shouldn't share it yet with certain people or um, maybe you just should keep it to yourself for a while or, or let the proof be in the pudding. Maybe let them see it, you know, let them be mad after the after the fact instead of having them ruin your your moment. Just let them be like, wow, why you ain't tell me or something like that instead of allowing them the chance to be able to mess up how you feel about what you're receiving i'm um, also i hear a message of that message came up before don't ask for permission ask for forgiveness i don't know why that message keeps coming up and i'm hearing it in the reverse don't ask for permission <laughs> don't ask for forgiveness ask for permission i don't know that may be that that may be one we have to dig into because i don't i don't get that message especially when it's flipped because why we gotta ask for permission i don't know but what else you don't see coming is that you have a decision to make child <laughs> you have a decision to make you have a choice between being the one to make the first move in some situation or just letting things continue how they've been going like not moving forward being stagnant so you got you got a decision to make you have some choices that you got to make okay so let's see what this is what this energy is of ask for permission not forgiveness I'm hearing something about contracts. So maybe it's something, maybe that's the energy I'm picking up on. You, there's this, this contract that needs to be, I mean, 
You gotta get somebody's signature. So I guess that's the type of permission. Or maybe this is someone's energy towards you. They said it was gonna rain at four o'clock. I mean, it's four thirty, but <laughs> you know, I just we haven't seen rain in a in a little minute here where I am, so it's welcome. So let's see. Yeah, like look, <laughs> something good is coming in for you, child. And, and it feels like it's gonna it's gonna take you having to remember who you are you it's like you gonna feel like you don't deserve this or not even that you don't deserve it but that is just too big it's too grand for you you know how if someone gifts gifts another person something and you're like oh you didn't have to do that yes they did because why not <laughs> Why not? Why isn't it for you? Why didn't they have to do it? Why don't you deserve this big thing that's coming in for you? Haven't you been working for it? Have, haven't you been working towards it or something that looks like it? Just because it's bigger. I mean, you know, they say that the most high brings in what we want, but doubled or tripled or quadrupled. You're like, it's, it's as big as the most high feels we are ready for. Or and, and what we deserve because the most high looks at our heart. They look at our heart space. But it feels like it's gonna mess with um your ego a little bit. It's gonna it's gonna test your ego. But I feel like it's just it's something it's so good. It's something dealing with something you've been creating, something you've been working towards. But it's most definitely something good for you. 10 10 may be significant the colors green and orange may be significant you may be someone who watches the sky but there is a, a huge wish fulfillment there is something coming in for you and it's coming in hot it's coming in quickly but it's it's good it's big and it's good and i can't wait to hear about it i hope y'all come back and tell me about it please Child. Good news is always welcomed over here. Green is most definitely significant to you. There's something about the heart space. This may be like for some of you, there is some sort of love connection that is coming in for you. There is somebody who just really digs you, who is just really into you. And I know we've been getting this message a lot, but I feel like this person has been held up and reaching out because they have been battling within themselves. So let them get their battle out. <laughs> let them, you know, conquer their demons or whatever they need to do to reach out. Because, you know, we don't want people reaching out before they're before they're ready. I see someone like reading a book or writing a book the somebody is a writer i don't know somebody is most definitely a writer it could be a book it could be a poem it could be music you could be like a, a spoken word artist like it's something it's something to do with writing you could even be someone who like writes speeches or something for other people I'm hearing that song in my solitude. In my solitude. I know it's, a, it's an old song. I'm hearing Nia Simone, Nina Simone, but I don't, I don't, I'm pretty sure, I don't think that's her song. Let me see y'all. And don't come for me because I don't know her name. Cause. <laughs> Let me see. Let me let me pause this so y'all don't be waiting. It's Billy Holiday. Solitude. So I don't know. I need to listen to it, but you need to listen to it too, obviously, because it came up. But it it just it feels like somebody is. I guess this love must be coming 
soon because it's prominent in today's reading and I just saw 10, 10 again. So the number 19 may be significant. So I'm seeing someone like alone in a room and they're writing something. And I, I'm hearing them like reading it out loud. So some, it's, it's either someone practice, practicing a speech for something or for someone or someone creating music for someone special. And then it doesn't, it, and then again, it, it doesn't have to be because I'm getting also another message that it's someone that is just creating music. They're writing lyrics and then singing or speaking them out loud to see if they like how it flows. But I see someone alone in a room writing. And I'm, I keep hearing that song by Yolanda Adams. It's a, it's a gospel song. So if you're not into gospel music, then don't look this one up. But it's um, I Open My Heart, Open My Heart by Yolanda Adams. I'm hearing that song. Y'all know that headache you get, the brain freeze. I feel that in my head right here. So I don't know. That may be significant to someone. Someone eating ice cream. <laughs> Maybe your inner child wants you to get some ice cream, you know. This feels like a good time. Like fall is here. This is a good time to connect with your inner child. A very good time to just be outside in this nice weather. Well, it's nice to me. I don't like the heat, so <laughs> fall. I've been waiting on you at the dough. <laughs> but let's see what other messages. Something about going fishing. I keep hearing that song playing in my head. Alone in a room. It's just me and you. I feel so lost. Because I don't know what to do. Now what if I choose the wrong thing to do? I'm so afraid. Afraid of disappointing you. It's like that song she's speaking to she's speaking to god okay but it feels like a split energy when i'm as i'm singing it singing it i feel like someone is also singing to the most high but then i feel this energy of someone who somebody somebody is in love and they don't know how to approach another person and it's like it, it, it's a battle it's 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 creating some sort of battle within them should i shouldn't i but you never know until you take a chance like you the answer gonna always be no if you don't ask the question it's just gonna be no but i feel like there's this energy of moving forward in a positive direction even if you don't feel like you're moving in a positive direction you are like the signs are there. There are signs coming up for you in your day to day, letting you know which way to go. And I, I don't feel like you're taking these signs into account. So maybe I am here to be your confirmation, but you are moving in the right direction. And I'm hearing also any direction you move in is the right direction. You just have to decide if you do or if you don't, you just have to choose. You just have to choose. The choice is yours. It's like the world is your oyster. Choose what you want and go for it and do it. Just do it. <laughs> just do it. And it came out again. I feel like for some of you, you have been like patiently waiting. You've been planning something out. You've been like, it's, this feels like it's dealing more with your, um, financial stability your your home life being stable in your home life being stable and secure creating a legacy for yourself and your family 
And I feel like there is been there is some spotlight being shown or about to be shown on you or on something that you're working on. Put your best foot forward is what I just heard. Keep going. And I'm hearing that message again about taking up space. So if you if you are working on something, you're creating something, put it out. You know, even if you put it out like in like bits and pieces or if you like post it on like social media or something like that where you don't you don't put it out like advertise it, but you just, you know, sprinkle it sprinkle it in in certain places but put it out the right people are going to see it i feel like there is this need to like go within i'm hearing introspection i'm also hearing retrospection but i'm hearing introspection like going within connecting with yourself connecting with the most high connecting with nature connecting with your inner child, what, whatever you need to connect with in order to feel at peace so that you can continue creating whatever it is that you've been creating, because there's this need for like constant reproduction or productions of something. Okay. So let's get some more, some more love messages, some official love messages before we close out. Hold on, y'all. Okay. So let's see. What love? <laughs> now y'all just got me blushing. What happened? <laughs> let's see what messages of love the most I want to deliver to you today. Ooh. I say, ooh. I feel like somebody like really feels excited about you. Or you feel excited about someone, but somebody, there is some excitement brewing in this energy. I feel like somebody wants to know more about you. Like somebody, I feel like people are like Googling you or just searching social media to find out things about you. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, I'm even. I'm hearing that song. Y'all know I hear that song from time to time. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you, getting to, getting to. <laughs> what's the words? Getting to love you, getting to hope you love me. Oh, is that it? That's a lot of time. Okay. Yeah, I got the windows up in the car. I'm starting to break a sweat. So that's why I'm really kind of shortening this reading, even though we're already almost at 30 minutes anyway. Hold on. Like right as I hit the, the pause button, I heard a meeting in my bedroom. So there's a meeting in my bedroom. So girl, please don't be late. Somebody wants you to meet them in the bedroom. You little nasty. I'm just playing. <laughs> so I hear I, I'm hearing something. I, okay, so first I hear the lady with the chewing gum and coming to America. Take a chance. But I'm hearing to take a chance on yourself as well. I'm hearing that connecting with yourself, continuing to pour love into yourself is going to give you the courage that you need to i'm here participate in some sort of connection so i see somebody like really just like sitting back and like being mesmerized by you someone is just really in awe of you it's something about you that they can't quite put their finger on. And it's like, at first, it kind of threw them off. Let me, <laughs> yeah, see me starting to swear a little bit. At first, it kind of like threw them off because they were like, is this person real? Is this for real? 
But it's like the more that they see you, the more that they try to get to know you as much as they can, because there is this distance. There is no real connection, but it feels like the more that they see you or watch you, the more that they're like totally enthralled with you. So there's also this energy of a person feels like if they come to you that they don't want to they don't want to tell you the full story on something or they feel like you won't tell them the full story on something they just, it's just there's this fear of inauthenticity inauthenticity <laughs> but it's like you know how fears can surface especially when it's something good for you it tries to like you know deter you from it but there is real chemistry, like somebody is heavily thinking about another person, wants to get away. Uh, I'm seeing somebody going on a date, but it's like, you know how sometimes the first date, well, most times the first date is like dinner, or movies or something like that. But I feel like this person wants to get you alone. They, it, it's like they don't want other people around. They want to really get to know you, but then they don't want you to like have to put up a facade or be fearful or something because it's just you two and you know you're just meeting and it's no one else around you know when you first meet somebody you have your suspicions already but then they like well i want to go on a date with you but i don't want to be around any people so you're like it's giving ted bundy but <laughs> but no this person just really wants to it they just want it to be one-on-one -on -one. they won't just want it to be you and I feel like it's because they're around a lot of people a lot, or maybe they ha ha are prone to be around a lot of people or draw a lot of attention. And they want this connection to start off as, um, I'm hearing minimalistic, but not minimalistic in the connection, but minimalistic in who knows about the connection. They don't want a lot of people to know about this connection until it is solidified so that is your message i send you all so much love and light don't sit in a car in the heat with the windows up in the car off okay i'm just saying <laughs> but anyway drink your water stay hydrated connect with those emotions enjoy this fall weather that's coming in um step outside of your comfort zone okay if there is something that you keep going back and forth about make a decision or just like honestly not making a decision is making a decision too so you know make a decision you've been i feel like you've been thinking about it a lot or i don't know this this could be your energy or this could be someone's energy towards you but they're in your energy so that's why i'm picking up on it so it's it's there's this energy of like needing to trust the self needing to trust the intuition needing to have strict boundaries but also needing to be open to opportunities and newness you know and things like that so i send you all so much love and light thank you all for being here on episode 30 what are we on 35 no we on 36 hold on this 36 let me let me double check because yeah we on 36 i'm telling y'all every time the numbers go up i just get more and more excited because i remember I remember when I was afraid to even get in front of the camera, like y'all, like I was just like, I couldn't do it. And I had to, like, I started off, this was me with the cards. <laughs> and then I started getting into the camera more. And it's like, now you go on my YouTube and I got like hundreds of videos, y'all. So yay for me. Yay for you. Yay for us. So just keep moving forward, keep elevating, keep growing, keep being compassionate. And if anything or anyone surfaces from your past to try to throw you off or anything like that, or this chaos that is surrounding you tries to throw off your energy, just take a step back and go within, take your breaths and just remember that that's not your destiny that's not your energy that's theirs what someone else tries to project onto you you don't have to receive it okay so love and light to you namaste mm -hmm.